about to see. This is Vamos versus against, or versus Twisted Express. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, into the land of Dawn we go. Zorn on a signature pick. Warlord on a signature unique crazy pick. And it's always <laughs> with Warlord. He's the guy who played the Grok in the mid lane too. Yeah. Warlord just really likes going for these crazy picks and it works for Vamos. The hyper aggression works so well for them. I remember the moment where in the uh, patch suddenly decided to prevent all these early game invasions and say that, no, you go aggressive, too aggressive in the first two minutes, you get like an increased, or the at least the ally jungle, you get an increased defense and you like get less prone to these invades. But Team Vamos right now, that doesn't seem to be the plan just yet. They're really keen on doing these early game invades, but four persons, four mm. members of Twisted Minds. Oh, sort of the flicker out, one last shot should do it. Troll faded in, forced to flicker as well. So it's a <laughs> flicker for a flicker. Trades and battle spell. I wonder when will the recall start coming in for Soren? Honestly, as of now, we've just seen him forced to use the flicker and uh, a very quick rotation from Twisted Minds as well. And I think this was also touched upon by our panel earlier. That's one thing you really have to take note of when it comes to the lineup of Twisted Minds. They can rotate really fast and that might just uh, pose a threat for Team Vamos, especially if they don't be as quick on their feet to actually set up the plays that they want to make. Something now actually sent towards the XP lane. Yep. Almost will be able to cut the lane here. So level four already for smooth. Sanji, AOG Warlord will flicker out. That's another shadow connecting on a troll. And also the crash course coming out smooth. Gonna be taken down, but troll falls as well. Now the Frigid Glacier is a three-man raging Sandstorm Hoda oh, with the steal. The Magi just dashing in, retributioning. And now Warlord is stuck in a tough place. He does have the sand surfing thingy-majiggy to get out though. I mean you would have thought like like, Warlord did such a great job in zoning the members of Twisted Mind, but like, the most important member. He got through, he got past all that zoning, and he was just able to steal away the turtle from Team Vamos. So things are starting to look quite good for Twisted Minds, even though we're expecting a greater level of aggression from Team Vamos. I mean, they still have that presence of mind even to send Cuffin towards the XP lane just to get that level 4 and uh, that precise early game rotations. So they don't feel as reactive just yet, even though they really drafted in a way to respond to Team Vamos. For those of you who don't know, this is why Hoda was uh, given the nickname of oh, Hold Up Troll coming down, that implosion and the electrifying beats. He does get the shortcut down, but it's not in time. But back to the point, Hoda, he was called the Twisted Savior after yeah. coming in middle of the season, actually into the playoffs and getting Twisted Minds from barely making it to playoffs to winning the entire thing. Yeah, this is uh, the storyline that you really have to pay attention to for uh, Twisted Minds. They have such a great storyline, but Warlord? I don't think the... Uh, I don't oh. think the... Oh, wait, 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 Sandstorm, Sanji's chasing the three melee heroes are TC Warlord, what? and he gets away just barely. Oh man, Warlord, you're a miracle worker. I didn't think, I didn't think he would still survive all that. Those were three members, if I'm not mistaken, from Twisted Minds. But still, we're not seeing the successful plays come in just yet from Team Vamos, not unless. I don't know if you want to be going in onto Hoda. Torn caught in the electrifying beats, can go in again, but Cuffin provides excellent peel there just by throwing out some ice, yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, honestly. Oh, wait, okay, uh, we know Team Vamos to be a team who typically in the early game really plays around Sorn. The aggression that he does, the uh, plays that he creates for his team, but we haven't seen successful plays just yet coming in from Sorn or led by Sorn. But wait, where you Sandstorm? Where you Sandstorm? Only on Sanji, though. Still able to sustain back up. GB win the retry battle. Now as Hoda goes up with Electrifying Beats, but will be chased down by Nets, who dives in smooth, shatters the earth, gets a kill, and Cuffin, his passive has been procked, and now it's a triple Whoa. kill for Smooth. Troll in a 1v3 on a Tigreal. Not too sure he can survive this one, buddy. It's Warlord with a kill back and Vamos with the momentum shift back towards them. Oh, I think that was uh, the wrong base. Troll and Coffin taken out here by Team Vamos. And finally, they find their way into the game. Things were completely different when Nets was finally able to join in. Like, they had a lot more damage on their side. And Smooth getting a triple kill. That's a really great sign right now for Team Vamos. Very. Thorn gets a crash course down. Hoda's actually 
going in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, yeah, go. there, you, there go. you go. There you go. That's a respect. That's a respect, right? How many respects was that? How many recall did he go for? Let uh, me get a counter. Four and counting. Five, four and six. counting. Five because he already recalled before Warlord. Oh, oh, oh. Zap Storm. Oh, look at the impulsion. That was a combo. Frigid Glacier, Avatar of the Guardian. Chibi is down. Warlord might be next to the chopping block. He tries to run away as Sanji continues the chase but will not be able to. Going with the crash course. Poda clearing out the mid lane. Yep. It's not just the uh, shortcut, the portals. No! Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a solo kill in the bottom lane. What is happening, Nitz? He's been performing really well so far. The, the only moment we saw him join the team fight, that was a huge advantage for Team Battles. And now, in the leaning, 1v1. Ridiculous stuff from Nets, man. This guy in the lane on a Harith. It's just, it's just Nets, man. Sanji even here. That's playing with angles. Poking him down, popping oh, his on force. He wants all the smoke. <laughs> Waiting out the revitalize from Sanji. Uh, happy birthday, I guess. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's a great birthday gift to win in front of the home crowd, right? Uh, and I mean, like, he's uh, oh. playing very aggressively, but wait. Uh-oh, Chibi, on the other hand, though, gets caught by the implosion of Troll. The timing could not have been worse for Vamos. 18 seconds he's down for, and the turtle is up. Yep. They might just go for the trade instead towards the top lane, but Team Vamos, they're still not letting go of this turtle pit. They are trying to engage just in mind, but oh no, wait, Hoda is here. Okay, comes in the ledge fighting beats. The shortcut comes down as well. The Earth Shadow will be able to get Troll and Sanji knocked up. That's a conceal backwards, move with the onward, and now the Primal Red Troll. So oh no. he'll survive. Meanwhile, on the back line, Sanji dealt with by the rest of Vamos. Even with Chibi down, the shortcut is there to provide help for the rest of the team. Great timing and usage of the conceal. Troll survives that but still they lose Sanji in the process. And I think that was a very efficient game plan from Team Vamos. Smooth was able to show the lanes or the waves high enough to be able to secure a tier one turret down on the top lane and eventually transition to this turtle fight. So they were still at an advantage, even though we thought that the death which happened onto Chibi would have costed them at least an objective. They were still able to get the upper hand. It's all about understanding the resource game. And so far, Vamos has understood it really well. Even though Chibi, someone of high priority, <laughs> got picked off, they know that the Flicker and Implosion, the only source of actual reliable catch, mm -hmm. was already used up. So they were happy to just go in. Nets didn't even have to use Purify, right? So, yep. and now, now it's a recall battle. We saw that from Zorn earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Twisted Minds wants to, you know, uh, try to out-recall Zorn. That seems like an impossible task. <laughs> I mean, they, I think they were uh, very vocal about wanting to do that. <laughs> They can really you do it though. But can you? Like, can you do it though? At this point, Lot Sword just waiting for someone. Ooh. Oh, but wait, he gets spotted out. He flickers over. Everything used up. The onward actually catching Cuffin. Oh no, he flickers out. The AOG coming down. Nets is going to be caught in the electrifying oh. beats. And he will fall. Four enemies of it all. Caught again. Chibi trading him back now as Troll goes in for the fight. Sano still free hitting. Smooth doing the same thing. Troll caught in the crash course. And now it's Chibi walking up. The implosion finds two. Sanji with a ton. And now the freeze gets Chibi down. Sanji with another. And the Bruno is still free hitting. That might just be Warlord falling down as well. But he's a bit too fast. Oh. The tournament though who take him down, and Sanji's the one who picks up a double. Sano just went unnoticed during that entire team fight, and Troll able to preserve that implosion just at that moment when Chibi tried to go for an attempt to still proceed with the team fight. They were able to get the advantage and win that. So now, clearly, they're chasing, they're catching up towards the uh, lead that Team Vamos has in their hands. They're gradually gaining access to these objectives, which earlier seemed unaccessible for them because Team Vamos, they were taking complete control of the map. And again, it's something you would expect. They have the uh, they have the chip in their hands and they're really quick to respond. So now we may potentially see like a closer team fight or a much more intense team fight towards this upcoming Lord. Definitely, because for Twisted Minds, now we can finally see those power spike items being bought. It's a holy crystal done for Hoda. Right. If you were already respecting the damage from Hoda the last few fights, you gotta extra respect it now. The electrifying beats is going to burst you down. Troll going in, having a shortcut, raging sands from the catch Hoda. The Yoji comes oh. down as well as Warlord, who picks him up, up in the midst of it all. That's Troll actually baiting it out so that the taunt comes in from Sanji and Sano gets the kill. So in the end, it's a two for one. But Vamos did get the Lord, so it becomes equal. Yeah, and there was a uh, there was an attempt from Troll. Clearly, he was able to look for the targets 
on the back lines here for Team Vamos, but he wasn't an, he wasn't able to just pop the implosion as quickly. But even then, Warlord, uh -oh. he secured the normal. Oh, no. Wait! Oh no, TB is running away. Okay, he has the dashes. He gets away, but you can see the Holy Crystal damage. I can see it. I can feel it. I, oh no, I, you can see Nets Holy Crystal. <laughs> I, I would want to go near Hoda at this point. He's been making plays for uh, Twisted Minds since earlier, but they might just lose a huge chunk of their map from this point onwards. Ooh, but Nets, the synchroficians are starting to hurt as well. Mm -hmm. Really have to respect that if you were Twisted Minds. But for now, I feel like the focus is really just taking out all of the outer turrets and possibly oh. inner turrets. But wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, Hoda just almost got picked up. Nets, he doesn't have to purify. Dashes out of the stun. And he escapes, almost taking down the turret up top too. Sano, by the way. Now that's the power spike for the Bruno, the Melfic gun. Now he can shoot those balls from a, from a longer range. Uh huh. But uh, I, I am feeling a different level of confidence from Nets today. I don't know if it's just the, the birthday buff in action or. But he's even confident enough to take on Hoda, really, at this point. Even despite the amount of damage we already see yep. from Hoda. So we're looking at the gold differences right now. Particularly uh, significantly higher for uh, Nets, as well as Smooth. Of course, he got the uh, triple kill earlier and has uh, who has had quite a great game as the XP lane here for Team Vamos. Very participative in the team fights. So we're waiting, or we're looking at Twisted Minds just holding on to their defense. I think it's it's something possible. We've seen mm -hmm. um, these kinds of compositions with the Joy as the jungle. Really just look for the cross-map plays and then just relying on the Bruno to work on the defense. Their counter-engage potential is really up high as well. They have both the Avatar of the Guardian and the Implosion. So I think a lot of possibilities are out there for Twisted Minds. Yeah, and I think uh, you raise a good point. Twisted Minds... To add on to the point, they might actually do better as a reactive team. Like, they're pretty good as a, as a proactive team, as an initiator, because obviously the combos are ridiculous. But if Vamos use their resources, say, like the Zaman Force, then that's it, right? That's a window of opportunity for Twisted Minds. And yep. Bruno doesn't really have a, a big ult like that. He, he just basic attacks, man. He just shoots the balls down, you know? Just, just keeps on kicking. Uh, and as the Lord spawns in, I don't know, when it comes to poke, doesn't really seem like both of the teams have any poke. It's literally just a battle of... Yeah. Who all in's better? Uh, it, it feels like it's just uh, waiting for whoever commits first and gets out more successful from it. And it doesn't seem like poking will be the game plan here. Team Vamos, they have this um, option to just really wait for whoever might just throw the top lane for Twisted Minds. But Twisted Minds, it seems like they made a decision. They collectively made a decision. They just really want to take on the team fights here, acknowledging the fact that there is that chance that Team Vamos might just play the macro game. And they're trying to play around with it right now. We're seeing like Chibi just showing himself towards the top lane. So. If you were Twisted Minds, you wouldn't be as sure as well if you wanted to, like, take on the Lord as early as now. You have very limited information regarding Team Vamos. See, whether they decide to actually go and control the Lord, Nolan has been spotted up top. What is the decision for Twisted Minds? Half HP on the Lord. It'll be reset it again, but no one's there to catch the wave up top, so... Oh, Maybe a few no. hits. Chibi's rotating already. Sano's got to be very careful here. He's a marksman against that assassin. No win of nature. Meanwhile, Smooth notices that. Goes in. Now Ready Sandstorm catching the bridge. Glacier catches two. And now it's like a fine beast that catches Nets. Sano gets the rose gold as he rotates over. Chibi's going to be caught in the tough spot right now as Hoda continues the chase. Chibi, he's got rose gold dog, but he gets taunted down. Chibi's one. Sano gets the ball down. And now the shove over to Warlord, who's able to take him down. But still, Hoda's on the chase. Immortality's still intact for Warlord and the Lord will just be the main focus of Twisted Mind. Sorn, what are you gonna do in that bush? It seemed like it was set up for Team Vamos. Sorn just using the Y walk, oh. positioning there, but then right no. now he might be the next target. Sano, will he make it? Sorn survives, but still the Lord, it goes into the hands of Twisted Minds. Beautiful stuff from Twisted Minds. They have completely twisted Vamos Minds in this game. The chip that was supposed to give them a macro advantage. They were all caught in the frigid glacier. The purifies were baited out and that set up for the combos that followed through. And now 
Now it's getting real tough for Vamos. How do they defend? When it comes to defending, yep. do they have good wave clear? Yeah, and actually at this point, if you were to look at the items here for Sorn, he really invested in that bleeding time, has the region armor. But what can he use in response to this gradually increasing damage output from Sano? They need to actually serve as a reliable front. But at this point in time, where we're starting to feel the damage come in and where uh -oh. they're limited in terms of the plays that they can create, how reliable would the defense from Team Vamos be? But we are seeing oh, both Chibi and Warlord have different plans in mind. Because the implosion to shove two baits off the Purify. The AOG will whip. Tanji goes in for the Taunt Sword in the back line now. Raging Sandstorm over to come in. Let's see if he can pop in the Frigid Glacier oh. in time. No, he does not. Sano still kiting back. Chibi will be able to get trolled down. Sano still free hitting though. Sword's gonna be taken very low. Huna gets the kill now, chasing out the Chibi. He needs one last shot. Sword, the concealed cancel, and Sano gets the Mega. Now, it is the mid lane that Twisted Mind set their sights to. Oh no! Just when we thought Team Vamos had complete control, took advantage of that shortcut placement and the way that Chibi was able to force a reaction out of Hoda. Hoda, just the same, uses the shortcut to quickly catch up to the team fight. And when we thought Team, uh, team Vamos already had the advantage because again, Hoda wasn't there, oh. he just suddenly showed up and he shows up again! That's Hoda! That's the Metai! With a solo kill as the AOG comes to aid him. Twisted Minds! are reading through Vamos. I cannot believe the mechanics we're seeing from Hoda. I don't think it's just the mechanics even. It's really the the uh, the in-game presence, the uh, all of those uh, decisions, those clutch decisions that he decides to go for in terms of like holding out everything for his team. And now oh. Team Vamos, they really have to defend this. Mid lane to be taken down. Hoda again with the electrifying beats, zoning them away. That is two. Two big base turrets taken down. And now he has the Divine Glaive. Man, I thought he already had the Divine Glaive. Oh, so that the earlier damage still didn't have that? And now, Twisted Minds, they're taking complete control of this game. It seems like they're just so unbothered about all those macro possibilities that can come in from Team Vamos. Like, they just, they just find their way to play around it, play through with it. They also get to take advantage of these opportunities themselves, like the shortcuts. Oh my lord. All those things. Eventually we find them favoring Twisted Minds. I don't think this is the kind of situation you want to be in if you're Team Vamos. They don't have the macro advantage now. The wave in the bottom lane is actually shoved in by Twisted Minds, so they can actually make a move on the Lord. If Vamos shows nets there, Twisted Minds might go for the fight! Show with the implosion and the flicker, now they're gonna go for the pickup onto Warlord. He will lose the immortality with the Glacier, but that's a lot of resources. Burn down Warlord! Taken out mid-air with the Raging Sandstorm! That's the green light, Twisted Minds don't care, they wasted some resources. Yeah. They want to go straight for the Lord. And what a perfect time to engage in a team fight. Nets was far away, but now Sorn! In the back, Hoda still able to kite away. Sano, one last hit is all he needs. Sanji gets the taunt smack smooth into the ground. Chibi and Nets running for the hill. Sano gets the monster. Oh, the crit. Chibi gets the shielding for the rose gold. Twisted Minds. Now, do they want to end or do they want to lord? Oh, no. Sword and Chibi are the only ones remaining for Team Vamos. They need to hold this game, but how will they do that against five members of Twisted Minds? Warlord is back off, the shortcut comes down with Electrifying Beats, deals with it. The Frigid Glacier, you stop! Warlord goes in with a Raging Sandstorm, catching Hoda, but only Hoda. The Winter Crown bot again, Chibi will fall! Warlord has the Winter Crown, he's swapping it in, but it's not going to be enough! Malaysia, once early, it was SRG, now with Vamos! Twisted Minds with another upset victory! The amount of teams stepping up. The amount of regions stepping up. What a day one it has been. It's not even over, but the amount of action, the amount of upsets. What a way to start the Swiss stage. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe my eyes. I honestly cannot believe my eyes. I want to check on the panel. What could they be thinking at this point in time?